we're headed to a traffic complaint right now that is believed to be a possible Sorry, stolen school three. bus. Okay, do we know if there's kids on board the bus or not? We believe so. I need permission to pursue this bus from the supervisor. Anybody will start it. The bus is refusing to stop, driving with no lights on, and it looks to be like he's a young white male, possibly 16 years old. And now myself and other deputies were in pursuit of him. If he runs on foot, do not pursue him. Watch out, he's swarming all over the road. Smoke coming from the bus, I'm not sure what it is. And he's driving real erratic and turning his wheel left and right on purpose, and he's all over the road. Hey, K9, can you see how many kids are in the bus? I can't see any kids in the bus, it looks like it's just him. door was locked and then the other deputies grabbed the driver of the vehicle from the driver's side window and were able to put him in uh, handcuffs and pull him out. appeared that the that the driver of the vehicle was either trying to flip it or trying to run one of us off the road. He's going to be charged with evading. We're getting one of the local agencies to check out if the bus is in fact stolen. And also he'll be charged with multiple counts of aggravated assault on public servants. I've never seen anything like it. It was one to put down for the books. Got a GMC SUV right here. The driver doesn't have his seatbelt on. I'm gonna get him stopped and talk to him. Doesn't look too happy that we got him pulled over. He put it on when we flip around. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. It's got to be on while you're riding down the road. I'm sorry. I'm You got drive by the um, no sir, 835. Hold up, I ain't that good. 835. All right. 
right, so we tried to get this guy stopped in ID, but uh, he took off from us. We are taking a ride on 33rd Avenue North. So this individual showing uh, outstanding felony warrants with our department, failure to appear on possession of controlled substance. He has no bond, which explains why he ran. Hey, check that over there to the left. We're still 31 South. Looks like he lost a left tire. He's going left right here on uh, 30th Way. Guys, left, right, then left. Straight ahead. Huh? Straight ahead. Huh? Straight ahead. Oh. Get him. Get him like that. Get him like that. Where? Hey, y'all stay in this area. Yeah, that's his house. Drop down. Just drop down. Okay. All right. Hey, just drop down. I'm, I'm putting my weapon up. I'm putting my weapon up. Just come down to me. We promise you. We promise you. Come on down. Come on. Come on. Let, hey, we got to see your hands at all times. So work to the edge and come down to this ladder. Come on. Grab my shoulder. Help. Grab my shoulder. Now, I'm just putting my hands on. Don't, don't spit on me. Come on. OK, OK. Come I on. I need some water. That's fine. Give me another leg. You're spitting on me, dude. I'm sorry. I'm dead sweat. Yeah. Yeah. You're spitting on me. Control that. OK. Come on. Here, step down to the ladder. OK. Yeah. Step down to the ladder. We got you, buddy. Come on. Come on. You're, you're, you're two feet away. All right. Put your hands on your back. See how easy that was? <laughs> <laughs> So just over this hill right here is where my vehicle is. 
That's where I gave chase. Um, I took a couple stumble, tumbles and lost sight of him. He actually made it to his address, got inside the attic. The license plate on the vehicle is attached to this address. His ID is attached to this address. The dog actually led to this address as well where deputies were already waiting. He surrendered and he was taken into custody with uh, no further incident. So all in all good, nobody's hurt. There's a few vehicles that are damaged, but uh, he's in custody. He's, he's gonna face his warrants and other multiple charges. One of our officers made a uh, traffic stop. Bowie! I guess it sounds like he was already talking to the driver and got his information. And while the officer was back at his car, uh, the driver took off. Bowie that. Good boy. I'm coming around. What's the vehicle description? Black Honda City. Lawrence K5, there's a guy in a minivan chasing this guy. Tell him to get out of the way. K9's lead car. underneath the seat. He's found 300 blast up. Speeds have lightened up here. He's down at 300 blast. He's reaching down again. Still reaching under his seat. Uh, we're pretty good distance outside of Lawrence. We're still in, um, actually, we're a county out right now. Not like you get out of Lawrence and you're on home base. Um, once you cross out of Lawrence, we will continue to chase you as long as the uh, the supervisors allow it. Stop, stay on 100 Northeast Meridian. Okay. How far is that? I'm like two more intersections in front of you. I just crashed out into a field. At the roundabout. Get on the ground right now! On the ground! On the ground right now! On your face! Right now! On your face! Get on your face! On your face! Arms out! Arms out now! Watch the car, Thomas, just in case, bud. Good boy, bubba. Good boy. Watch him, good boy. Eyes a boy, you got him. Good boy. Eyes a boy. Woohoo! people you could have killed? Just... Over a stupid warrant, you could have killed multiple people. You got anything on you? No. Anything in the car? Let's go ahead and start a record. What are you throwing under the seat? What are you reaching for? Nothing. What's in the car? There's a little bit of marijuana in there. I wasn't running for that. What was his warrants for? Uh, possession of cocaine. Okay. 
So uh, basically, he had some felony warrants, and which Officer Wise and Officer Anderson, when they pulled him over, they went back to run him, and he took off. So he might look underneath there again on that on that side. I can't tell. Hey, we're not worried about your phone and wallet right now, okay? You know how many lives you put in danger? So many. So many. That was dumb. So what we're going to is the person that had their car stolen is actually following their stolen car. They're gonna be coming up to us right now. It's gonna be a great Dodge Durango. Okay, that's it right there. Continuing about 45 miles an hour, no traffic. Coming up to North First. Coming up to North First, no traffic, 45. Right on North First, left on Rodeo. Right on Curtis, he blew the light. Still about 45, 50 miles an hour, I'm trying to catch up. Coming up to Linwood, about 66. Made a right turn on Linwood, blew the stop sign, and he crashed. Heavy crash after making right on Linwood. I got the driver running toward the school. Lock down the school. Heavy driver running toward the school, lock down the school. The driver's wearing a blue sweatshirt. Going over the fence. I got a passenger. Black sweatshirt. What backed up to the school? They're going behind the school. He's going on Tampico. Somebody run inside your house. I'm with you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sully, please, Sully, please. please. We see your house. Ready? Yep. Sully, SPD. Go. Is the back door open? open. Back door's open. Custody, the passenger is in custody. Nobody's hurt. So now we're just gonna figure all this out. He just ran into my house. Okay. He just ran inside. Okay. Did and he tell you anything? Nothing. He just told me, uh, can I have a glass of water? And I goes, who are you? What do you want? What are you inside of my house? So obviously they uh, bottomed out and then ended up here. And then the passenger in the black sweatshirt was going that way, and then the driver went that way. So we went and stayed right there with the driver, and Officer Hart stayed with the passenger. Hi, I'm the vehicle owner. My name is Brent. Hey, Brent. I'm, I'm Jackie. I'm my police report here. You got it good, huh? Yeah, they did. I'm sorry. But that's what we got insurance for, though. That's true. So uh, the driver is going to be arrested for stolen vehicle, evading police, obstructing us by uh, hiding from us and going in the house, and also burglary because he entered her house without permission. Uh, the passenger, he's a juvenile, there's alcohol in the car, so we're taking him to the station for further investigation.